see. <clears> hmm. <throat> Hello. <laughs> Let's see what do we got here. Brian and Angela are in. It looks like Pamela is in too. Look at this. I've got one of my Christmas presents here. <laughs> it's my it's my Bob Ross Happy Little Mints. All right. Let's get a little. Let's get a little happy little tree mint. <laughs> All right, say goodbye, Bob Ross. <laughs> How is everyone doing? My name's Kurt. Mm. Here, let's make this official. Uh, hey, Russell, how are you doing, buddy? <laughs> My name's Kurt. I'm a dad who draws, and this is our Tuesday night um, portrait class. Uh, we actually run uh, we actually run two portrait classes during the week. So uh, we're gonna start with uh, this is Tuesday. And uh, what I'm gonna do is, as you could see tonight, I am drawing um, traditionally for you. And then on Wednesday, that being tomorrow, we will draw, go back to our old way of drawing using uh, my iPad and the program Procreate. But um, I just wanted to uh, kind of give you an example of how I would approach drawing. I mean, it's the same, but just kind of show you what stuff will look like as I uh, don't use any magic. I don't use any magic. <laughs> I just go right into it. Okay, so uh, here's to us tonight. I am so glad that you're here with me. Uh, if you have any questions, please just put them in the chat. I will be looking over at that from time to time and uh yeah let's let's get right into it so what i have here in front of you is um uh, right there that's it's kind of funny to to do this uh setup here but uh this this image comes from a great website called uh, earthsworld.com and it's it's earth's like E A R T H S W O R L D, and I think it's a phenomenal place in order to get uh, photos, in order to uh, draw from. So I would recommend that you check that out. Earth's world, welcome to the non-tablet world. Yes, <laughs> and look at Pamela. Look at this. I I just picked up. And by the way, this is my. Uh, I'm not being sponsored by Crayola. I just love Crayola pencils, and already my uh, my lead fell out. Right, but that's what you deal with. That's why I have three more pencils backed up, ready to go. <laughs> oh boy, we're gonna have some fun. <clears throat> we're gonna have some fun. Okay, so let's. Uh, Let's talk about traditional media here um, as we go into uh, drawing this portrait tonight. Uh, you don't, here's the thing when it comes to drawing as a hobby, you don't need much. You need a cheap, you need a very inexpensive, you need a sketchbook of some sort. Uh, this one has wire O, I prefer wire, wire O. And then you need something to draw with. I prefer um, Crayola. <laughs> colored pencils the lead is super soft and uh, I just it's waxy so it doesn't smear and uh, that's that's it I, I don't really care about the colors too much but this is my go-to now if you are going to draw with a pencil tonight um, I and just so you know the range of pencils that you could choose from uh, goes from HB that's in the middle and then it goes to 2B 4B 6b and the b range is soft if you go toward the h side h2 h4 h6 it gets harder and harder the, the lead is harder and harder i don't like i don't like those at all i always stay within a 2b or 4b is where i like to be at so i'm just kind of giving you a heads up heads up from that um, vantage point okay so let's uh let's jump right into this here and I'm just going to go nice and slow. If I go too fast, please just, just ask me to uh, slow down and we will do it. So the process, um, let's, oh, let's look at one more thing um, before I get started. Uh, 
look at look at how I'm holding my pencil here. This is this is how I traditionally will. I hold my pencil in two different ways. I'm going to hold it like this when we get into detail, but I'm going to hold it like this for a large part of the drawing. Uh, holding it like this keeps my wrist straight and helps me to draw from my elbow, okay? And from my shoulder back over here. How do you hold it like that, all right? Look, I'm just gonna show you here. I just lay it, I lay it right, lay it right across there. Just like this. I'm pushing down like this, so it's going into my, uh, going into my palm, just like this, all right? That's how I'm doing it. And I'm holding it nice and light, all right? Okay, so this is the way that I hold my pencil. All right, let's go ahead and get started here. Oh, you know what? I had this. Let me just, uh, you can't see my screen here, but I want to make sure that I got this reference up. Okay, here we go. Okay, so when we approach a uh, portrait, um, I want to go. I want to go through three three different things here. Okay, uh, I always think of these these three things here. Two D, three D, face placement. Okay, where is the placement of the face? What do I mean by that? All right, so. When we start off with a portrait, I usually like to start off with a sphere. And then when I look at that sphere, when I look at that portrait, what I'm drawing, I, I've got to determine whether the head is leaning to the right or if it's leaning to the left. Let's draw one, let's draw two more down here like this. Okay, this first one, this first one, let's pretend like this is leaning a little bit to the right. This one here is going to be leaning to the left. And this also is going to be leaning a little bit to the right. This is considered, these are considered the 2D axis. Is it leaning to the left or is it leaning to the right? Okay. Next, 3D axis. Is this coming forward or is it going back? If it's going for, if it's if it's coming forward to us, uh, the brow line. That's that's right right along here. And this is the next mark I'm going to put down. If the head is coming towards us, we're going to draw a brow line like this. That means that the top of the head is going to be right about there. And we're going to call this A so I can keep track of these. And then we got B and then we got C. Okay, let's say B was going, let's see on B, the head is turning back like this. All right, opposite in the brow line there. I'm going to put a little arrow here so you get the idea that that head's coming back. That head's coming forward. And we'll also make this, we'll also make C coming forward as well. So the top of the head will be right about there. Okay, that's, that's the 3D axis, okay? 2D is back and forth, and then forward and back, all right? Last thing is, where is the face? So let's let's take a look at A. And face placement is finding the center line. So let's just say the center line was, now we're, was coming down here, and we're, we're coming across the, we're coming across the surface of this. So this is where my face is, and my face is going to be looking off in this direction. All right, here's B. Let's let's make this. There's B. B's looking off in this direction. 
and then C, let's go around the surface there, straight down, okay? C is looking off in that direction. Okay, next, next I'm going to find the temples. The temples. You can't see that, but you'll have to write that down. The temples are right here, right here. You could feel them with your uh, fingers. They're, they're the little bony protrusions right underneath the outside of your uh, eyebrows, okay? So over here, it's going to be something like this. All right, let's come down to B here and do the same thing. Now notice that B is, uh, these are all three quarter view. And so the, the center line is going to be always shift a little bit. All right. Look at C. Here's the temple here. Now, look at the temple's going to be way over here. Okay, because it's three quarter view. This one, I probably should have moved it over slightly. Okay, so we put our temples in. After the temples, you're going to look for the side of your head, the sides of the head, okay? Here's the side right here. And we're going to slice this off. I'm drawing with my whole elbow here. Here's the temple over here. So we're going to slide that off. Slice that off. Down here, same thing. Same thing is happening on the on the other side here, we have to slice that edge off too. And same thing down here. We're going to slice that off a little bit. And down here. Okay. Why is that? So if you look at a head from a side view, look at my head here on the side view. You see that? It's very round. It's going to be, it's very round like this. This, this might be the, the front side. Okay, that's a side view. If you look at a head straight on, it's going to be very flat on the sides, but very round on top. Very, very flat on the sides. So we have got to remember these things. This is why drawing heads can be very difficult. Because at a three-quarter view, you're going to have a little bit of both. All right, let's continue with A. So you, you got your sides cut off, all right? Let's bring that center line down just a bit. And then right in the middle here, this is gonna be a straight line. <laughs> straight line going down the side of the, uh, of the head there, of the side of the head. And then we're gonna drop down just a little bit here. And this becomes the corner of the jaw. And this, this circles around like this. Get out of there. <laughs> and then the other jaw is going to come in like this. All right, let's do it over here. Straight down the center line, center line, the axis, and the side line here. They all go in the same. They're all parallel. Drop down just a little bit. Curves around for your uh, for your jaw, and there you go. Let's come over here. All right, so we look. Here's the axis. 
here's where the the center line for the face and we're going to side of the head also is going to be very flat drop this down a little bit curve it around drop this side down a little bit and curve it around Now you should you should it would be helpful for you to practice this. <laughs> oh, uh, practice this over and over again. You want to get these shapes down, okay? So the next thing I want to show you now is general proportion. So this is your brow line, okay? That's that's where your chin is going to go. Your nose, your nose can be about halfway. You could probably go in halves. And now this is going to change from person to person. Between the uh, nose here, you could get the mouth. You could go halfway there as well. All right, let's come up here and do that. Here's the brow line. There's the chin. Let's just say about halfway. And like I said, these things are all going to change. Depends on, on the person. Halfway there. Brow line. Halfway. Chin. About halfway. So... These proportions will should should serve you well, okay? Down here, this is where your ear is gonna go in this bottom bottom quadrant. And then from here, let's see what time is it? Uh, okay, we can do this. So then uh, so let's talk about just, uh, uh, let's just start with the nose and then we'll, we'll get onto our drawing after I show you the nose idea. Okay. So a little while ago, I figured out a, I think a better way to draw the nose. And it's this idea of using a, uh, using a kite, a kite idea. <laughs> You know, it is so hard to draw with a cat that is uh, <laughs> crawling around. <laughs> All right, here, there's a, there's a kite. I got you. Oh, I didn't even show that. Let me come down here where you can see it. I'm sorry. Ow. Okay. Let's say you draw a kite. Okay. You draw a kite. <clears throat> At the top of the top point here, top part here, there, and there, you're going to tie a string. Okay. And if you tie a string, you, you, they're all they all come into the center like this. You see that? And then you you got your string coming out here, pulling it. Well, let's take that kite concept and flip it upside down. All right, so. Ultimately, what we have going here is, it, let's let's move up here like this. So we got our points of our kite. And then center point's gonna be there. And there he is. There's a nice, idea for now this isn't perfect but you get the idea let's try it again down here there's we'll put one end of the kite there another one here there are the four points of my kite there's the there's where the string is being attached and now i can go in here and get a little bit of dimension for a nose. And we'll try that down here as well. All right, 
there's the edges okay so that's your that's your basis that is your basis when you go through the heads okay <clears throat> last thing last thing that'll go to our drawing most most of these heads are going to have they call a, a frontal uh, not a mass a visor All right, and this is where right at the temple here. And then this comes down just like that. And let's do it over here too. So we're gonna come in. And same thing down here. Now there's all kinds of more little details that we could do, but we won't do that tonight. I just want to show you the basic structure, all right? Construction gives way to likeness. Don't try and get a person's likeness. Try and see the, the structure, okay? Get the structure down, the likeness will come. And one last thing I want to tell you, if you're, watch, if you're watching this live or a little bit later, Drawing the face is extremely difficult. You get on the internet, you see hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of, of people who draw the face really well. They only got there because they struggled through it. There is no magic wand. I don't care how many tutorials you might watch. I don't know how many videos that the people put out there that make it look super easy. It's not, it's hard. Okay, so don't be so hard on yourself if it takes you a while to get it. It just takes time. It takes time. The key is, is that you're here watching this right now. The key is that you don't quit. That's the only way you're going to find success in this. Okay, so let's go ahead and get onto our drawing now. But before I do, please, <laughs> please like and subscribe the video. That's key. Subscribe for it. <laughs> if you like the content, if you like everything I'm doing, I really appreciate it. So jump down there, subscribe to the video, leave a comment. That's always so helpful. Okay. All right. And further, if you're interested in joining a group that's super supportive, um, we have an incredible Facebook drawing group and you can find the link down in the description. So if you're looking for a home, if you're looking for a home of people that are uh, helping each other, come to our Facebook group. It's, it's really, really supportive. Okay, here we go. Let's, enough of this. Let's get started. Okay, once again, holding my pencil like this and we're going to start with a nice big oval. Nice big sphere. drawing drawing from my elbow and I'm keeping this very light okay let's look for the 2d now now if I hold my pencil straight up she is leaning slightly forward slightly forward Keeping it super light. All right, that's the that's the two uh, D. Let's get the three D now, and she is just it's not much. It's just a little bit here. So let me let me make sure I get the right angle here. Okay, that's I think that's what I'm going to go with right there. All 
right? The next part, let's find out the face placement. So as I'm I'm looking, I'm looking at my drawing, I'm looking at my photograph here. And her one one temple is one temple is over there. Okay, I got that. And the other temple is gonna be over here, I believe, right about here. Okay, when I put when I put the center line of her face, I want to be super careful. Now, this is this is important. Don't put it dead center right here. Slide it over just a little bit. Okay? Slide that slide that over and let's come down here. There it is right there. It's imperative that you that you just slide it over just a little bit. Okay, let's slice off this. Uh... Slice off that part of the uh, skull there. Okay. straight line coming down straight line over here as well we can even drop that in Okay, there's going to be my chin right about there. Okay, so that's that's our basic shape. Now we can now we can start making adjustments from here, okay? Let's jump down and put let's put her let's put her neck in here. And if you notice that her neck almost lines up, watch this now. It almost lines up with the center part of her head and it just almost continues. You see that? Continues right down the side. It's almost like a perfectly straight line from her cheek, from her cheek all the way down to her shirt. This back side here is almost flat. And then her neck is going to come around like this. So I'm, I'm building this containment, all right? Her head is going to come back here like this, and we're gonna we're gonna add hair to her head shortly. All right, let's let's kind of get an idea where these uh, uh, where these eyes are going to go. Okay, so. I'm just going to put an eye line in here and I'm going to just kind of envision it as far as like, uh, you know, they're like her eyes are, are, are sloped. I'm looking at my model and the, the outside of them are sloped. So I want to, I want to put a line that's going to help describe that for me. All right, let's get the shape of her nose. And I'm just gonna kind of go, we're gonna start right up here. We're gonna get the uh, gabella. 
And as I've started to draw a smaller bit area, I've, I've changed the way I'm holding my, my pencil here. Okay, now I'm looking. I'm looking at the tip of her nose, and I'm looking at this. I'm looking at the tip of her, tip of her nose and her cheek over here in the picture, to get an idea of how close they should be. I'm also taking a vertical measurement from the tip of her nose, like straight up my page, and where does that line up? Okay, that that's really that that vertical nose comes out. Let's see if I can show you with my mouse. Uh, yep, look at this. So you see the, you know what, you may not be able to, see, no, I don't think you could see that. Never mind. Oh, it's so interesting not having the uh, computer to, uh, to show these alignments. Okay, well, we're just going to have to wing it. <laughs> All right, so there's the there is the tip of her nose. All right, let's let's think about this uh, nostril here and the width. Okay, I'm, I'm looking for trying to get my general proportion down here. And the nostrils are like like an upside down cup. Outside edge comes around. Inside edge goes like this. And then the tip of the nose will overlap that. And then, then there's another opening here that that overlaps. Okay, now I'm going to make another adjustment because I could see right now that my nose is, uh, her cheek is, is much further away from her nose. So I've got to, I've got to make that adjustment there. And that's going to be your other cheek on the other side. Let's get the ball of her mouth, okay? Ball of the mouth is right around here. And let me show you where that's at. Her chin will sit on top of that. And then let's look at the surface line that goes from underneath the nose across the top of that ball. And it's going to be like this. Look, it's going to be like this. I 
I remember when I was, uh, when I was uh, learning how to do this, I would uh, have to drive about an hour drive to the uh, to the art studio that I was attending at the time, and it was uh, this is when I lived in California. All right, let's get the let's draw this uh, mouth here, okay? And I'm gonna look for the opening in the inside first, okay? So let me uh, what I did over here is I, I put a little mark where the corner where the corners are, okay? There's one there. And then if you look closely, there's another one over over here, just like this, right there. And so let's let's come up. I'll tell my story in just a minute here. So then corners of the mouth are going to come up. There's a slight divot right there. And then it's going to make a quick sharp downward movement there it is right there yeah so we would we, we would I would take these figure drawing classes or even portrait drawing classes and we would you know work in all day and then it would take about an hour to get there and then they would go the class would go from like seven to ten o'clock at night <laughs> and then I'd be I'd be done and I'd end up then uh, driving home another hour. So I want to get home to 11. And uh, problem is with the drive home there. All right, let's get this top lip here. Thing was, driving home silently in the car <laughs> was so humiliating because, you know, I felt like my work was awful looking. All right. Look at this top lip here. It comes in just a little bit short. Oh, you know what? No, no, it doesn't actually. Mm, my bad. It comes all the way out. Yeah, I would I would drive home discouraged. And, uh, you know, it just... And I realize it just takes time. And then, then one day, it just all clicked together. And uh, it was quite remarkable when that happened. Okay, let's get this bottom lip in. Now this this bottom lip comes a little bit short. I don't know what I was I don't know what I was looking at just then. Just trying to tell a good story. <laughs> and let's let's go ahead and add just a slight tone to that upper lip. And I want to also add a little bit of a tone to the tip of the nose, but look look what I'm doing here. I'm just adding a tone right up top there and leaving the bottom, leaving a little bit of light underneath the bottom of it. So my point is, is, you know, don't be so hard on yourself. It takes time to get this. The... Uh, You'll see all these tutorials online, and I watch them all the time. I look at them myself, and uh, these are people like myself who've been drawing for years. And so we make it look easy, but behind every stroke is uh, many, many hours of practice, lots of, of just repetition over and over again. And that is how you're going to uh, get good at this portrait drawing. It's not going to happen overnight. So what I did is I just kind of outlined that shadow. And I'm just going to fill that in with a little, a little bit of tone. All right, let's continue on now. Let's let's think about this uh, chin that's coming down here, right? So it's coming around here, and then we're... Okay. I'm going to grab this outline here, this the side of her face. Now look at this. Look at this cheek. This cheek 
heads into right right about where her mouth is. You see that? So it's it comes in like this. And then way up here, it's going to come all the way down almost like this. So the best way, I swear to you, so the best way that you can really excel at this is repetition, but let me show you this. I, it, this when I did this, it changed everything for me. Uh, let's see here. What I want to show you is this. What I did, I sat down one day and I... Uh, I, I actually I actually wrote out a small tutorial for myself step by step of how to draw the face and when I and then I also did that I did I did that for all the little tidbits that I knew from how to draw a nose how to put how to put the um, how to how to see that the relationship between the nose and the mouth look at this right here this is what we did tonight okay and then here's the uh here is my master list the big picture and i'll leave this here and you could freeze if you want you could come back and freeze frame it and take a look at that if you want but after reading so many books i came in and i wrote it down step by step and then i followed this pattern over and over and over again okay and this is how it finally sank into my head. But it took time, it took time to go through this, uh, this methodology. And then you've got to keep repeating it over and over again. Okay, here we go. Let's keep going here. Okay, so uh, got our eyes. Let's let's get some eyes in here, all right. And I'm just kind of getting the general uh, general opening there. Now let's see. Now this this other eye is lining up right here. We know that. Look at the shape of it. Okay. And as I look closely at it, look at this eyelid is overlapping a bit. What about the other side here? Okay, the other side it has this nice beautiful curve. It's a beautiful curve going in there. And then there's a slight curve on the inside here. Let's get that in place. All right. Let's let's see where this chin is. Chin is coming out over here. It's, it has a pretty strong strong line here. It comes all the way around like this. And then it has this nice, there's a shadow. Look at this slight tone underneath here, right? And then it has a, also, this coarse shadow here. So we get a little reflective light underneath that. You see that? Okay, let's let's kind of map out where these glasses are because these glasses are so much apart who she is. So let's let's start on the inside here, and I can see that that is going there, and the other glass is going to be right right there. You see that? 
What's the angle this is taking? Angle is going to be kind of like this. And this one is hidden behind the nose. Where's the top corner? Top corner is going to be about there, right? All right, let's bring this let's bring this around here. All right, where's the corner from out here? Wow, this corner goes way out here. Let's get this let's make sure that we give plenty of glasses here. This is going to help sell this uh, three-quarter view. Okay, where is the co other bottom corner? Bottom corner is going to be about there, I think. Let's see, is it a little, little bit higher? Because I'm looking at to see where it lines up with the nose. This one is right there. Curves out, curves out, all right, so now this is going to go back, let's get a nice straight line here is that about right yep I should have double checked that before I jumped at that right this is also goes above the eye looking at these different arrangements here <clears throat> now look I, I do want to show you if I didn't mention it. I've got four of the same colors here. Okay, that way if one broke, I could I don't have to sit here and try and sharpen it. Excellent. Okay, let's go ahead then and kind of gesture in where this hair is going to go. Okay, so let's think of the hair as in pieces. And when I'm drawing hair, I'm thinking of uh, C curves and S curves. A C curve is like this, an S curve is like that. And these tufts of hair, I'm just trying to uh, Think of them not as the mass. I'm thinking of trying to think of them as a mass and not as individual hairs. Looking at the negative space between the edge of her hair and her glasses. Alright, let's get this let's get this ear in here. A straight line from the from the lobe. Where does that line up? Okay, it goes right almost above her lip, so it's gonna be right about there, I think. And where is the height? The height of that ear is going to be somewhere right up in there, I believe. How's that angle look? That well, looks pretty good. Okay, let's get this earring in. It's a it's a loop. 
I've kind of changed my angle slightly. Okay, now look, look at my head. Now I've, I've made some adjustments to it. It's not quite as, you know, these, these, these shapes that we use are our guides until we get a little bit further into our drawing. At times when I'm holding my pencil like this, I'll, I'll push down, I'll pull up, push down, pull up. Almost like I, I like to feel like I'm walking around the, uh, the surface there, okay? Like I'm almost like carving it. All right, let's get some shadow in here now. Ooh, this is a different color green. I thought this was all the same color, but it's not. So I'm just going around this and just adding some value. Holding, holding my pencil like this so I can get the side of it. All right, let's get some detail here in the last, uh, let's come back into it now. Now that I've got some nice marks here and what I'm doing is I'm just Sharpening my pencil, that cheap little pencil sharpener there. See, it doesn't, you don't need super fancy materials. It can, you could do it with the cheapest. All right, let's get in here and add some darker marks to add some definition. So <clears throat> you are always dealing with like uh, edges. Is this a soft edge? Is this a hard edge? Look at how the values come together here. In the corners of the mouth, you, a lot of times they could be a little bit darker in shadow. And you could see that you could see that on her. Ooh, look at that. I you know it's so funny you you catch mistakes that you make.
All right. Oop, probably went too dark there, but just gave her a, a mustache, maybe. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the hair alone and work that out. I don't want to spend... That's going to take a lot of time there to uh, get in there and, uh, and go into detail. So we're going to leave that. And we will... Uh, I'll do that after the camera is over. Okay. But I think that that kind of does it. That that brings us up to our hour. And that is our I hope you uh, enjoyed the uh, traditional process as opposed to uh, doing it on uh, the computer. But uh, I do thank you for watching. My name is Kurt. I'm a dad who draws. Post your work in our Facebook group. I'd love to see it. And uh, this brings our Tuesday night portrait class to a close. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Okay, bye-bye.